In this video, I'll show you how to create a timeline slicer in Excel. And it's something that you could add to your own dashboard. So here are the timestamps. And if you want to follow along, you can just skip to that section. So let's get into it. The question that you might be asking right now is, what is a timeline slicer? So a timeline slicer is basically a filtering tool that lets you see values based on certain times and dates that you filter on. And it only takes a couple minutes to create in Excel, so let me show you how to do it. Okay, so for this video, I'm just gonna use a simple data set on Netflix movies and TV shows. So here's what the whole data set looks like. And I formatted the release year column as a date because I'm gonna need that for later. And I also noticed that the dates, they all, they're all in 1905. And none of the movies actually came out in 1905, which is weird. So this data is actually inaccurate. But even though it's even though it's not right, I'm gonna I'm still gonna use this data set because the point of this video is to show you how to create the timeline slicer. And you can apply that process to any data set that you use. So first I'm gonna go to the insert ribbon and I'm gonna click on this pivot table in the top left corner. I'm not gonna click on the drop down arrow, I'm just gonna click on the top part over here. So do that, it's gonna open a new window and everything, all, the whole data set is selected, which is what I want for my table and range. And I want the pivot table to be in a new worksheet. So I'm gonna have the option selected and then I'll click on okay. All right, before we actually build the timeline slicer, we have to first build a simple pivot table. So I just moved my face cam to the left-hand side because I'm gonna be using this pivot table fields and so I'm gonna use these boxes, the rows and the values. So if my face cam was on the right hand side, then you wouldn't be able to see it. So anyways, I'm gonna be dragging the age certification column into rows and then run time into the values box. And then so you see this pivot table now and I'm gonna change it to, I don't want the sum of the run times. So I'm gonna change it to average by saying, click on drop down arrow, go into value field settings, click on average, then okay. And so, it's gonna give me these trailing decimals, which I don't want. So I'm gonna go back, click on number format, and then change this to zero. And so now that pivot table looks a lot better and I can move on to the next step. Okay, now that we created the pivot table, we're now ready to create the timeline slicer. All right, my face cam is now back to the right hand side because I'm not gonna be using this pivot table fields anymore. So my camera isn't covering up anything important. But even though I'm not using this fields tab, I'm gonna still select on this pivot table and then go to pivot table analyze ribbon and then click on insert timeline. So this is gonna give you a new window with the option, the column that you want to filter on. And since the since we, I formatted the release your column as a date, that's why it's showing up as a timeline. It's showing up as an option for the timeline slicer. If I didn't format this column as a date, then nothing would show up and this wouldn't work at all. So I'm gonna click on release year because that's what I want to filter on and then click on okay. And that's gonna give me a nice timeline slicer that shows which months you can pick from. So you can select which specific months you want or you can go to change it to years, quarters or days. And in this case, I'm just gonna do quarters because Everything in this data set has the same year in it. So I, th I think quarter is a good option here. So you can choose which quarter that you want to show. So for quarter three of the year, these are the average run times. For quarter two, these are the average run times. But for quarter four, quarter one, there's nothing for that data. And you can also change the caption over here. If you go to the timeline ribbon and then change the timeline caption in the top left hand corner. So I'm just gonna change it to release space year. That looks a bit neater. And so you can see that the changes are displayed and you can also change the color, the styling of the timeline slicer. So you can change to yellow, green, orange, whatever you want. So depending on the purpose of your own dashboard, I encourage you to add this because it could be useful and especially if you're using a timeline graph or something, that you could put this timeline slicer to the side and so if you click on each quarter or year, then you can instantly see the, the changes on the timeline graph. And so it's gonna make your dashboard more interactive. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button over here to stay up to date with my content. And if you wanna see me make more Excel videos, then check this one out over here. It's gonna show you how to create a dynamic map in only around five minutes. So I hope to see you over there and thanks for watching.